Hey everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com, and today we're going to take a look at Google Earth, finally. Uh, it's running on the Nexus 1 here. This is one that was announced way back when the Nexus 1 was first announced, and we haven't seen it until now. It takes a couple seconds to load up, especially the first time, and this isn't the first time I've loaded it, so it'll go a little quicker here. Um, and it's a hefty app. It's about 22.5 megs on your phone, so it takes up a decent amount of space. But here you go. It's pretty much Google Earth. If you're used to it on the desktop, you're used to it here. It's pretty smooth. The graphics, um, you know, this isn't a desktop processor we're dealing with, and uh, and obviously graphics power isn't quite the same, but it's pretty good. You got a compass up there that uh, you can use, and then when you tap it, it'll snap back to north, which is nice. There you go. There's Australia, and pinch to zoom works just fine. Um, it looks like this is an Android 2.1 app, which obviously you would need pinch to zoom to run, so that makes sense. You can't rotate with your fingers like that with a multi-touch, which would be nice. Um, is, is it too much to ask for that in an update at some point? I don't know. And let's see what else we got here. We have a little button down at the bottom, and you tap it and it says, Look around on, and that will actually move the earth and uh, change things in that regard. Zoom back in, and that'll let you uh, get more of a 3D look down on the globe so you're not just top down the whole time. Oops, sorry, backed out of it for a sec. All right, enough of that. There you go, pinch to zoom. And let's see what else we have here. We got my location, tap it, and it takes you straight down to where you are, and it's pretty darn good. You won't be able to quite figure out exactly where I live, unless you know where I live, but there you go. Um, it even got the end of the house that I was on, so that was cool. Uh, there's my beautiful uh, Gulf of Mexico town. All right, let's take a quick look at the settings. Not a whole lot there. You can clear your cache, which is good. And there's the about screen. Nothing to talk about there. Here are all the uh, labels that you can turn on. Places, businesses, panoramio, Wikipedia, roads, borders and labels, and terrains. So let's turn roads on real quick. And there you go. you got the major interstates. And as you zoom in closer, you'll see even more. Let's see. The uh, help file doesn't work right now. That's a little interesting. I wonder if Google maybe slipped this into the market before uh, they intended to. And when you hit more, you get clear search results in the terms of service, which also doesn't work. So I kind of think this might have been slipped into the market and we managed to grab it early. So there you go. Let's zoom back out and we'll play around for another second here. And that's Google Earth. See you, everybody.